Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm going to show you five features that you can do with the iPad Pro. Now, for the last couple of years, I've been using the Air 2, and it works really well, but there's some things about it that I'm just outgrowing. So, for example, the new iPad, you can use the pin on it, and you have USB-C connection. So sit back and relax, and let me tell you all about it. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can take this $35 adapter, a wireless keyboard, a monitor, and an HDMI cable and turn it into a mini computer. So here we have the adapter. On one side of it you have a USB-C. On the opposite side you have a USB-C, HDMI, and a USB 3. All we're going to do, this is the dongle that comes with the keyboard. You can plug it in right here. The cable that came with the iPad, just plug that in here. And then plug the other end into a power source. The last part is just take your monitor and plug it into the HDMI, and that's what it looks like. And the last step is just plug this into your iPad, and now everything's ready to go. Now let's see if it works. The great thing about this setup is now you have a larger screen you can look at, and you can position your iPad anywhere you want. Now it does mirror the screen, so there's no way to make it a second screen altogether, but again, you get that larger screen. And now you have a mouse control as well, so if I want to open up something, I can just press on it. And I can go to the address bar and use the keyboard like normal. You also have the bar at the bottom like you would on your iPad that you can use the mouse to drag over. And if you like, you could do your FaceTime, you could do your alarm clock, your maps, everything that you would normally see on the smaller screen, now you just have a bigger version of it. Next we have feature number two. Now this is a feature where you can take your iPad Pro and make it a secondary monitor for your computer. Now there are some criteria. First of all, an uh, older Apple computer will not work. You have to have one that has a USB-C connection on it and it has to be running Catalina software. So let's go over to my desktop computer so I can show you how you can use it. Assuming that you're using the same Wi-Fi and the Apple ID, the sidecar is going to allow you to use your iPad as a secondary monitor. As you can see here, I'm using a mouse from my main computer and you can see all the different icons just like you would on your desktop because it is an extension for your desktop. And you also get some additional functionality. For example, let's open up Photoshop. You can still use the mouse for all your different controls, but if you take the pen, you have some other features down here at the bottom that you can control with the Photoshop. Very easy. And you can also use it on programs like Word. You can see at the bottom you have all kinds of different icons right there as well. On the side you can pull up your desktop icons. You have your option button. You can also bring up a virtual keyboard. So that gives you a few ideas what you can do with the pencil and the sidebar. But let me show you how you get it connected. It's very easy. Go to the top corner and hit the Apple icon and then press on System Preferences. If your computer is compatible, you will see Sidecar right here. Just click on it. Now once your iPad is plugged in, just go down here and then choose your iPad. And that's pretty much it. Once it's connected and then all configured, you can also use Wi-Fi on this as well. And if you guys would like to see a full video on Sidecar, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a video for that for you guys. The third thing I'm going to show you guys is the new LiDAR sensor right here on the back. Now if you have an iPhone Pro, you can notice there's three cameras on the back of it, but each of those serve a purpose. What the LiDAR sensor does is it sends out a beam, it reflects off of different lights as well as objects, comes back here, and then you can do like a virtual reality on the screen. So let me show you how that works. So if you go to the App Store and type in AR, you're going to see there's all kind of games and software packages that has this technology in it. So let's download one and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Taking a look at this is mapping out my desk as I move it around. So let's go ahead and start the game and see what happens. And if you move around, the tree kind of moves around with you.
The fourth thing I'm gonna show you guys is the new camera system. Now you have the wide angle and the ultra wide. Let's go and do some snapshots so I can show you guys what it's all about. And here's what the front facing camera looks like. It's seven megapixels, but it picks in pretty good. It's not like a wide angle or anything like that, but you can see it makes a really close up shot. So when you first get it, it's gonna be set at the minimum resolution. So what you wanna do if you're gonna film a lot of video footage and you have the storage from cameras, go over to video record and change this to 60 frames per second. Then if you go back, there's another feature here that says format. Now high efficiency is gonna be the best for Apple products, but if you plan on sharing it with people who have Android, just click over to most compatible. So it's gonna put in a format that they can read very easily. Now we get down to the fifth thing. I'm gonna show you how to do some basic edits with the built-in iMovie so you can actually clean up that footage that you've been putting out there on social media of your friends and family. So let's jump right into it. For this video, we're gonna be using iMovie, but if you really wanna get into editing, go ahead and pay for Luna Fusion. It's $29, but it actually looks close to Final Cut and has a lot of the same features. So let's get into the iMovie software. If it's not pre-installed, just go to the App Store, look for iMovie, and go ahead and open it. The first thing you wanna do is create a new project and this is where the video starts. And you can make a trailer, but we're gonna just focus on a movie. So now all you need to do is just select all the files you wanna use for your movie. So here's some footage that I shot earlier. I'm just gonna choose a few things. Once you choose what you want, press create movie. Some files upload to the iCloud to save space on your device. So you might have to wait for them to download into the device again to do this movie. Okay, so this is what the timeline looks like. This is all the footage that I've just uploaded to this uh, video I'm gonna make. So what we need to do now is we need to chop it up a little bit. First thing we're gonna do is just find like where the footage is. And if you tap on it, you have things like your volume. And this line right here shows the volume right there on the bottom. So for example. Now this is an example of the 12 megapixel camera. So if you're filming and you want to have that commentary in there, you can leave that in. But for this purpose, I'm just going to make it more of a montage. So I'm going to tap on it and get rid of the volume instead. And what we're looking for is scenes that we can cut into. So if I take that, tap it, you can hit actions, split, hit the first part, and then you can delete. Now when you play it, it's just going to show this one part right here. I can split it again and then move to the next scene. So I go right here, tap it, split, click here, delete that scene. So this is what it looks like so far. And for this video, that's all I'm gonna do. So now I'm just gonna get rid of all these extra files I didn't need anymore. Tap it, delete. Now we wanna add some audio. Hit the plus at the top, press audio, press on my music. And I made a folder that says iPad video music sample. I can click on that. And then I need to wait till it loads up into the file. Now it has a gap at the beginning, so let's get rid of that. Right there, and let's play it. And this is a quick way you can make an edit on your iPad. And once you get all that done, just hit done at the top. And then you can share it at the bottom. You can export the video. You can save the video. You also can send it to YouTube, iMessenger, and things like that. So after watching this video, you should have five new things you can do with your iPad Pro. And some things will work on some of the newer iPads as well. So take this opportunity, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with my latest videos and be sure to smash that like button. Also, there's another video here with Apple products involved, so you guys should go check it out right here. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys on this video right here. Peace.